In this Buzzy review, I'm going to show you everything you need to know about the software Buzzy. If you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll also be sure to leave a discounted link down there so you can always get your money's worth for Buzzy. Buzzy is a software that helps build apps and websites with no coding. This is what you should see once you've actually logged in. However, it's not what you've actually logged into Buzzy for. This is Figma and Buzzy is just an actual plugin for that software. So once you've actually logged in or created an account for Figma, then you can go ahead and also search the software Buzzy and then actually add that plugin to Figma. So here we are on the Figma software itself and then this is the Buzzy software. All of this login page and login pending page and the start page has been built by Buzzy. None of it was built by the Figma software, it's all been built by Buzzy itself and we're just going to go through each feature. So to start off, if you actually go to the Figma community page and search up Buzzy, you actually have loads of these different templates for you to choose from. That is the one we actually have in the other page before and we're going to go through each feature that that uses. These are all the Buzzy templates, the ones with the Buzzy name on it and not the ones that people have actually edited like this one. You can see that there is a simple login demo, which is the one we're going to go through. There is an image field demo, responsive web demo, overlays, getting started and other types of apps. Now back to this page, as you can see, this is the Figma layout. Normally you'd be able to just add and take away stuff with these toolbars up here. However, Buzzy actually removes that and creates its own software inside it. All the way to the left, you can see your layers and your assets and your different pages. And then to the right, you can see the actual designs. So now we're going to go ahead and actually open up the Buzzy plugin and then run through what that uses. So to do that, once you have installed it and actually gone and accessed it, you can go all the way to the top left up here. Once you click on the main menu, you can go down to the plugin section right down here and then see that Buzzy is right there. Once you click on it, it should open up Buzzy and start running it. Once Buzzy is open in this little window right here, you can actually move it about wherever you want. So if you need to do something over here, you can move it to the left or to the right, depending on what you are doing. As you can see, there's a lot going on in the Buzzy section. You can see that it's got its elements, its designs, the data, and you can actually go ahead and publish your app slash website once you have done. Down here, you can see there's a new to Buzzy section. You can see that you can start here if you are new to Buzzy. And then you can also watch this if you are new. There's a help button all the way down here if you need help, but we're not gonna do that for now. We're gonna go through each feature and each feature that is used within this Buzzy plugin and this simple login demo. To use Buzzy and see what it does, you can go ahead and just click on any of these pages that highlight blue. And once you actually click on that, you can see on this Buzzy plugin page, you can see that it actually opens up all of the features of the login page we just clicked on. You can see that you can actually run through each area. You can see the screen section, the components section, references, fields, actions, info, ignored, and what is repeating. You can see that for info, ignored, and repeating, we have zero since Buzzy has recognized that there's nothing like that going on here. However, you can see that there's actions, fields, and components going on. There is no references either. So as you expand each of these, you can see that Buzzy is recognizing each area and you can actually go ahead and click on any of these and edit them as you wish, just like the design area up here. Once you have went ahead and designed all the areas on Buzzy, you can actually go ahead and zoom in and out right here if you wish by holding control and just zooming in and out with your scroll wheel. And then you can see what's actually going on. You can click on more intricate features and make sure Buzzy actually recognizes each bit and each component. And you can actually design it to your liking. On the main Figma page, you can see that there's a lot of stuff going on the right hand side here. However, it's all Buzzy based, so we're going to be staying on this little section right here. Buzzy has some good features because it's able to actually create websites and apps without using any features, and that is pretty good. We're going to go ahead and click on the My Login Pending page, and again, you can see that it is the same thing. However, this time we're going to go over to the Data section to the right of that, and you can see My Login Form. You can see that there is data actually running through that, which would be the email because you would log in with your email. Same with the data section on this area and the final start page since it's all running your email through it. You can go ahead and see what components are being used like the text box and images. And you can also go ahead and click on them from this page right here. And you can actually alternate between them in the components section. As you can see, there's also a field section. This is where you'd actually input your email. You can go ahead onto the buzzy area and click on that too. And you can see that's where you'd input your email right there. 
Finally, there's an action section. Again, clicking on that, you have the button, you have the logout, the powered, the other powered, and then the try again if your email actually fails. So it's all here for when you need it, even just in the Buzzy template. If you want to go ahead and make a software from scratch, you can go ahead and do that through Buzzy as well. However, it is also really Figma based. We're just going to keep going through the Buzzy templates and seeing what can actually be done with Buzzy. Once you've actually finished going through all this and designing it to your liking using the Buzzy software, you can go ahead and click publish up here in the top right. Once you've actually gone over to this publish section, you should actually see that it wants a key or a share key. You just want to go ahead and click share up here and then get the link and then copy and paste that into there. I've already done it so it doesn't actually have it for this section for me. Once you've done that you can go ahead and update the Buzzy app and it should start updating to your liking. Once you've gone ahead and done that it should pretty much be the same since you have just updated it and you can go ahead and actually click preview right here. Once you've gone ahead and click preview you should be seeing the preview to your Buzzy app however as you can see here, because we've actually logged into Buzzy by itself and it actually uses its own softwares to run, you can see that we are actually already logged in. You can see that going back to this page, we are in the login page, the start page right at the very end. And we have not been greeted with these two pages since again, we are already logged in. So that's pretty much proof that the Buzzy app actually works since it uses it itself. And you can go ahead and just log out and it actually logs you out of your own account from your own plugin that you even created. And there we go, that was the Buzzy review. Overall, there's not too much going on since it is just a plugin and not a software on its own. It actually runs off Figma. However, it is a really well established and integrated software for the Figma software. Personally, I like the features that you can actually go into the intricate details and buttons and components and actually change them and use them in Buzzy to your liking. Overall, I think it's a great software. I think it has great templates if you want to go ahead and actually build your own app. It's good that there's no coding, so if you're not very good at coding and you're just a designer, you can also go ahead and do that as well. It is very easy to use if you are using it professionally, and I would actually recommend it to anyone who wants to use the software fully. Would I use it myself? Definitely, if I'm ever building an app in the future or any websites, I would actually go ahead and use Figma and the Buzzy plugin. I wouldn't just use Figma on its own since it is pretty bland, and the Buzzy app actually helps quite a lot. Thanks for watching, I'll see you next time.